Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingawebstore.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to customize your Magento homepage. I'm actually going to be showing you how to add products to that homepage and I'm going to show you two different ways that you can do this. In addition to that, I'm going to be showing you how to add a banner to your homepage as well as how to edit uh, meta tags. So to start, simply go to your admin panel and then go to CMS and click on pages. Here you will notice a list of pages. Uh, simply look for your home page. Note that you may have uh, two home pages such as I do, but if you have a stock install, you will have one. Uh, note that you can either edit the existing page or you can create a new page and disable the existing one and then add that new page as the active page for your home uh, page. In my case, I will just edit the existing page. So now once on here, you will notice tabs in the left uh, column here. The page information, this page title right here is what displays over here. So if you'd like to change this, you can. For example, I can enter in uh, the name of my site. And then when I click on save and continue, I will see that name here. And in the metadata, tab I can actually add a uh, keywords as well as a description for example my uh, description will actually show up in Google and I'm going to show you right now where this information shows up this for example is where the title shows and this right here this is the description that you enter in here now to actually add products to your home page what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to figure out which way you want to add products there's actually an easy way and uh, that's the first way that I'm going to show you but note that when you go to the content section you will notice a home page written here which is your heading this is this right here you can actually change this as you please for example I can add I save plaza and then it will show up here and then what I can do is I can go a little further and I can actually add a uh, widget and then when I select widget type for example I can add a catalog new product list and if I choose all products and I can even uh, choose how many products to display for example I can display uh, six products and I can even choose the template type and I'll choose grid and when I click on insert widget and when I click on save and continue and then refresh it will actually show six products on my home page note that I do not like this bullet that's here from the UL list I can actually edit this the way I can do this is I can actually add for example this block right here you can actually get this information on my uh, site creatingawebstore.com the link to the page where this information is located is in the description of this video and then I can simply go to the design section here and right in here I can paste this and then I can simply add this uh, new CSS page first let's click save and continue and now simply open up your file manager or your FTP client and simply go to uh, the default uh, location of your uh, template for example if you have a stock install it will be in skin front end default and then default and CSS and then simply create a new file and this is the name of the file this is actually what we entered in here if you want to use a different name you can by simply editing this part right here where it says custom.css to whatever the new file name is and then simply click on create new file and then edit the file and enter in your CSS for example I want to get rid of those bullets so I just enter in that CSS and I click save changes and now when I refresh the page 
the bullets are no longer there. Note that I can also change uh, how many items are listed. For example, back here in the content, if I just highlight this and click on the widget icon again, I can change it to uh, eight products, for example, and click on save and continue. And then when I refresh, I will have eight products. Note that you can even choose which items show up in the new product list. For example, if we edit this widget, instead of all products, we can switch to new products and then click on insert widget again. And then click on save and continue. And now you will notice when we re refresh we have actually just one item because I only added one item as a new product. You can actually change this by going to catalog, manage products. And then simply go in and edit the items that you want to show up on your home page. For example where it says set product as new from date and set product as new to date. Simply enter in the dates that you would like this product to show up as new. For example, I will enter in today as the from date and I will enter the to date a month later. And then when I click on save and continue, that second product will show up. And you can do this, you can repeat those steps for all your products and then a list of all your products will show up on uh, the home page. For example, if you have your uh, product count as eight, simply uh, add eight products as new and then they will show up on there and the alternative to this would be to create your own content for example you can just go back to your editor here and just remove this new products widget and then simply uh, add a banner or something for example I can add an image by actually uploading note that it currently uh, tells me that the directory is not writable by the server and that's because I do not have uh, the required folder added to my server. So I simply create that folder and that folder is named WYSIWYG. This information is again uh, listed on my site at creatingwebstore.com. The link is in the description of this video. So I simply go where my Magento is installed and I click on media. and then right here in media I simply add the folder and I enter in the correct uh, permissions for example I'm going to enter in 777 so that I can upload files note that I must uh, close this pop-up and reopen it so that it works and now I'm just going to add an apparel banner and I'm going to select it and insert file and image description you can enter in anything you'd like I'll just uh, enter in something basic and now the apparel banner has been added and I'm just going to save to show you how it looks and then I'm going to add some products and this is how that looks and we can even uh, change for example the width or the positioning uh, for example in this case I'm just going to change the positioning to middle and I'm going to click on save and continue and then beneath it I'm just going to add some products I'm actually going to add a uh, grid so now I'm simply going to uh, add three columns and two rows and I'm going to do uh, some cell padding and that will be five and spacing five and alignment will be center and width I'm going to enter in 200 and the height I don't know exactly what it will be so I'll just leave it as is and I'll click on insert and now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go here and I'm going to uh, enter in 
our collection and I'm going to add an image in here by simply uh, clicking on the box here and then just going to image and then I'm going to upload all of my product images by simply going to browse files and then selecting all of them and now I will select the first image and insert the file and I'm just going to type in computer here and insert and I will actually adjust the width of the image by going back to the image icon here and where it says appearance I'll just uh, enter in for example 200 and I have constraint proportions uh, selected checked off I, I should say so the height is automatically adjusted and I click on update and then I simply add a product link by simply clicking on the insert widget icon here and I can just go with uh, catalog product link and now I just select the uh, template type and this will be block template type is fine and anchor text will be computer computer and I will select my product and that's this right here and I will click on insert widget and now I have a product link and when I click on save and continue and refresh and there it is and then I can even link the image since it doesn't have a link right now and I can do this by simply clicking on the image and then going to the link icon here and then just grabbing that URL and then just pasting it here and insert save and continue and now this image is also linked and I can even uh, adjust the space a bit here because I don't like how this really fits in and now I will be adding the rest of my products by simply repeating the same steps for each box here and when I'm finished I'll show you the results okay so I just finished adding all my products and I can save and continue and this is how my home page looks of course you can further edit the layout and make it look a lot nicer than I did of course this was for demonstration purposes only and uh, once you get the hang of this uh, HTML editor, you'll uh, make your homepage look really great in no time. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and also be sure to check out creatingawebstore.com.